Well, we have more matches on deck, including a spectacular one that's going to be a crowd favorite. Yeah. It's time for the gold medal final and recurve men here at the Indoor Archery World Series Finals at the South Point Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada. 18 meters the distance to shoot. I'm Greg White sitting alongside Steve Anderson. And as coaches and judge come out, Steve, we have a heavy hitter, a crowd favorite. Where's the stars and stripes? Brady Ellison is on deck for this one and it promises us an absolutely spectacular match. You can see the finals, Florian Kaluns will be shooting off against Brady Ellison. And it's time to send these athletes. And I'm gonna tell you, Steve, it's gonna be fun to hear the crowd once this name is introduced. Yeah, Brady's the guy here, Gunsmoke. <laughs> oh, man. Brady Ellison, a legend, an Olympian, a medalist, coming off of arguably one of the best recurve seasons we have seen in the history of the sport and yeah, his yeah. for sure 2019 there's no, there's no argument brady with the world championship world record he he won i don't know how many world cups his seventh world final world cup final outdoors last year yeah. we start to lose count he's uh Undoubtedly, it was the best season ever, and if you want to argue who's the GOAT in recurve archery, you sure can, but uh, I'm giving it to Brady. So Brady Ellison left part of your screen from the United States. Florian Kalund, 26 years old. But Brady, I'll tell you what, anytime he walks around this arena with four or five thousand people because you got to figure there's over 3,800 archers here but plus there's family members and yeah. they're friends that come to watch so there are thousands and thousands of people here and every time he walks around he gets a crowd around him including his own brand you can see on his hat his own brand of archery things that he makes yes yeah, so Brady, Steve, uh, most popular archer in the world no, no doubt. doubt all right so you're Brady Ellison you've been here before you've been on this stage but you're Florian Kalun from Germany and you know you're in the United States and you're <laughs> yeah. shooting off against a crowd favorite. What do you think is going through the 26-year-old German's mind at this point? Uh, if he's handling this the right way, he should be thinking he's playing on house money. We are in Vegas, mm -hmm. and he's got nothing to lose because Brady's the one who's expected to win, right? The expectations fall on Brady. Uh, there's really more pressure on him. So for him to make it this far is a great accomplishment. Um, and he's going to have a good shot here. Anyone who gets this far, they're shooting well. There's another arrow, low left. As you notice, Brady started low left, much like Chiang Hai Jin was low left. So he's going to make the side adjustment, I think. See where Florian's for Sarah Lance. <laughs> Nearly dead center. Good start for him. All right, Steve. Recurve men competition, set scoring system. Remind us again about that. So, yeah, we're going to shoot ends of three. So each archer will shoot three arrows. Whoever has the highest score is going to take two set points. If they tie, they split it, and they get one point apiece. First archer, six points, takes the win. If they end up tied at five, we go to a one arrow closest to the center of the target shoot off, um, which we all love to see. But <laughs> yeah, this is uh, a little different than you might see in, in uh, other types of shooting events. And there's one just to the right for Brady. So now this opens the door for Florian. He knows it because he heard the ooh from the crowd. He heard the 10 9 liner get called. Ten, nine, That's a 10, I think. Yeah, that looked like a 10. So remind yeah. us about scoring rings, right. how they score. So that ring you just saw, right? That's our four centimeter ring, uh, about the size of a silver dollar. All the arrow has to do is touch it. It doesn't have to get inside it, just has to touch it from the outside. Um, and what we saw there, Brady's looked certainly out. Florian's, we didn't have quite the angle. Uh, but it looked like it's probably going to be in. So right now we're showing on the screen that we're at 1-1 one, one with set points. Don't be surprised to see that updated by the judge who's down there calling the arrows with a microscope if necessary. <laughs> or a, yeah, a magnifying, yeah, magnifying glass. glass yep. <laughs> Someday we'll have microscopes up there. But uh, don't be surprised to see that score go to 2-0. And there it is. They just updated Florian down on the scoreboard here. So Florian off to the early Brady lead with Ellison. two set points. And friends. Brady's got to get out of the hole. You can see Florian's last shot that we just showed you in replay was that 
that 10 that caught the line, he didn't like the way that shot broke. That's part of what we talk about in archery. Right. When he released that shot, that shot broke, but he was able to catch it. And so now, unexpectedly, we have something that we didn't think we were going to see, but we knew that Florian was perfectly capable of it. American fan favorite Brady Ellison now down two set points to zero. Yeah, Brady isn't sweating this. Uh, he's told me I don't really worry about it too much until I'm down 4-0. <laughs> so, Is that right? <laughs> yeah. Dead, good 10 to the left there. So there is a jumbotron that's above the archer's head. And you can see that when Brady shoots, he's looking up at the jumbotron to see where it hit. Yep. You can see off to the left, his wife, Toya Ellison, is in the coach's box. So if you need something from her, Oh, he's really holding left, though. Don't yeah. you think at this point you might be grabbing a click or two? Uh, yeah, there he is with it right there. He just made the adjustment. So Florian, see what he can do here. You know, he came out, shot the three tens, got a little bit of shake and a long hold going here. Yeah. yeah. You can you can kind of tell, you know, with uh, as the shot starts to break down, you start holding too long. Uh, they're hoping for the best, but it wasn't meant to be on that one. So Brady's got a chance to take the set right here with the ten. The nine. Yeah, wow. Not a great one either. So now he's he's hoping that uh, Florian shoots a nine. Florian with a ten here would tie the set. So it is going three one now. So it's three one as we wait a confirmation on that. So you know the thing that's interesting, Steve, is that we mentioned before we are watching the gold medal match for the Indoor Archery World Series finals, but. The points scored to get here happened yesterday and today Ellison, here in Las Vegas. In and America. Brady Ellison, from what I understand, hasn't missed a 10 yet. Oh, it's been incredible what he's done. Yeah, so here in Vegas, Brady shot 60 euros. He's got 60 tens. Under a lot of pressure, he is 10 points ahead of his nearest competitor, right? He is putting on a clinic, done something we've never seen in the sport. Uh, continuing that success from 2019, you know, Brady's been shooting good all year. He shot really well in uh, Nîmes, France, at the previous stage of the Indoor World Series. Uh, took the win there over American teammate Jack Williams, and uh, he started. You know, he's continued that success here in Vegas, and now he's facing his first real test. Shot a couple nines and. He's got to dig out of the hole against Florian. There he is again, left side. He's been in that hole one time. Doesn't look too happy, does Brady Ellison, but he needs a perfect 30. He's got to put any pressure on Florian Kablut from Germany. Ten. Boy, that last moment, Steve, I just saw Florian with just a bit of a shake, and I thought yeah. maybe it was too much. But It was almost, uh, you know, it, he was changing the angle of his bow. Ten. You can see, you know, trying to keep it perfectly level so Brady again hanging the left side and he yeah. looks like he's trying to frustrated trying to figure out why that is because then if he makes an adjustment he's been missing out the run Florian great arrows so right here Florian can push it to 5-1 uh, it'd be 4-2 if they end up tying on the set but Brady gets this one he puts it in the 10 he's guaranteed at least a tie and he got it so he needed a 30 he got a 30 Pressure's on Florian now. He knows he's got to have a 10 to tie the set. He shoots a nine. It's going to be 3-3. Three, three. Oh, oh, wow. Awesome. Wow. Didn't look like he felt good about it. How often do you see We're looking at an Easton X-10 arrow, a micro <laughs> diameter arrow, and he just put it in the exact same hole as before. Right. How does that micro arrow, as we say in archery, really measure? Like... How would you describe it to someone who's never seen it in person? They are less than a quarter of an inch. So imagine a pencil, cut it in half. <laughs> you know, reduce the diameter by, by half. And that's about what you've got. They're, they're about 0.200 thousands of, you know, 200 thousands of yeah. inch thick. So 0 0.200. Um, Florian, yeah, same hole right there. And you kind of see, don't know if he felt great about the shot, but. Uh, worked out for him in the end. It's match set for Florian Callan of Germany, Brady Ellison. That was big for him, too. It, it's, it's very tough to close out a match. If you're Florian right now, um, this is this is the hardest part. It's easy to come out and, you know, try to sh swing your biggest swing uh, against a guy like Brady Ellison, but now you've got him on the ropes and you're trying to close him out. That's tough. 
This is where we're going to see things get real interesting. There it is. Brady Ten gets stronger point. usually as the match goes on. And this is where he shines under that kind of pressure. Trying to even nice. this match Ten up. Points. Four inch shots, smooth, timed well, right? He's got good rhythm going right now. He just hasn't flinched. Nope. Shot one nine at the time. Thank you. There's we have another. He is just loving the low left spot right there. He's getting some instruction from wife Toya to move that. This one, this one's looking interesting right now. <laughs> Still nailed it. Yeah, you could see just a tiny bit of shake. Little smile on yep. his face as the crowd erupts in applause. Brady looking for perfect third ten, ten, ten. Got it. So, so Florian. He's a 10 to tie. We're right back in the same situation we were the last, situation we were the last end. And it's there it is. And gave it up. Yep. You know what was interesting, Steve, is that it looked like that Florian had a bit of upper body movement. Yep. And that can do it. It doesn't take a whole lot, right? These guys, you're talking one degree change in point of aim is astronomical in where that arrow ends up you know, point of impact on the target. So they're, they're looking at, you know, half a degree of point of aim or less to yeah. try to try to shoot that tender. Archer standing 18 meters downrange from that target face. Just about 20 yards is the distance to the target. And Brady Ellison has tied things up. We are even. And as Steve Anderson mentioned earlier here in set point scoring system, it's going to be the first to six. Now, if these archers tie, we're going to go to five points apiece, and then, Steve, the fireworks. Right, and we have a one-arrow shoot-off closest to center, but uh, we got to get it there first. I'm really impressed the way Florian's shooting. Like I said, it's hard to close out a match, but now he's back on even ground. Um, so he's, he's no longer. Oh, there's a. The door is open. So the, the beauty of archery, right, is you can't play defense, but you can bring all the offense, and they can't play defense against you. So there's a 10 for Florian. Two more of those, and he wins, no matter what Brady does. He's just got to shoot a 10 to stay alive here. Yeah, Brady has to have him now. Mm -hmm. right. That's probably going to do it for Florian. Florian's, Florian knows he's up two, right? That takes a lot of the pressure off, so he can shoot a nine. Doesn't kill him. Nine. And he does. He does. So nice. now we're in a situation where he absolutely has to have a ten. Without a ten here, he's got to hope for a big miss from Florian, something out in the eight ring, which is a red one. Ten. Good job. Got that one. All right, so a ten to win for Florian Calhoun for the gold medal. Nine to tie. Nine to tie. This gold is medal. tough. Let's see what we can. Seen a little shake in his release hand. And he got it. it. <laughs> Unbelievable. The Dragon Slayer, Florian Kaloon from Germany, takes down Brady Ellison in a six to four set point win and the gold medal. The Indoor Archery World Series Finals here in Las Vegas. And Steve, we knew he was going to shake. You have to have nerves in right. this arena in front of all these people. But this archer managed those nerves the best. Yeah. If you trust the process, you, you train every day for moments like this, and if you can just trust what you've done, trust your shot, uh, you can shoot through those shakes, and things generally work out. There's a, a lot of subconscious involved, and Florian, you know, has trained and trained and trained over and over. He's been on the scene for a long time as well, mm -hmm. you know, since he was uh, probably still a junior, and he has figured it out. And like you said, the Dragon Slayer today. 26-year-old Florian Kaloon comes to the United States, to Las Vegas, and is able to stand on top of the podium later on tonight and look over his shoulder <laughs> at Brady Ellison. So let's take a look at the final rankings for our Indoor Archery World Series Finals. You can see at the top of the pile, Florian Kaloon over Brady Ellison and Cedric Reiger from Germany. So Germany, two archers yeah. on the podium here. They're, Outstanding uh, job by all these archers. Still more coming at you as we're going to switch the bows around to get the compound.